Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how I administer some medication to my Burmese python. Uh, he's been down with a respiratory infection for the past a couple of months and uh, I've been treating him with a solution called uh, SMZ TMP Pediatric Suspension. Uh, basically this uh, suspension consists of uh, two antibiotics, sulfamethoxazole and trimetroprim. Uh, it's used you know, for wide variety of uh, bacterial infections, respiratory infections, and intestinal infections. It's uh, used for people, as well as dogs, cats, and uh, all kinds of other animals. Uh, I, I had to ask the vet for a solution that can be given by mouth, since my snake doesn't tolerate injections very well. Uh, last time he was with a respiratory infection again a few years ago. I was giving him some shots and he ended up breaking some needles and the shots left some marks on his scales and for that matter I decided to ask for something I can give my mouth. And uh, the vet advised me to give this with a catheter insert it in the snake's mouth but uh, I just feel that it's too much much of a hassle to do it the snake doesn't really take it very well and he also told me that he can inject it in his food so i've been hitting him i've been feeding him with mice every other day and basically what i do i have this syringe here with uh, seven cc's of that suspension and what i do is i just inject it into the dead mouse I'm gonna try to do this with my hand so it's a little bit difficult but basically I just inject 7 cc's into the mouse and then I'm gonna feed the mouse load it with medication to the Burmese python that's all it is to it and also if you're doing this uh, the snake doesn't really like the taste of the medication, so make sure the mouse is perfectly clean on the outside. No medication. If there's any medication, he will not take the food. Alright, so we have the mouse here with my hemostats loaded with the medication. And the Burmese python is here. Just gonna open his cage now and now feed him the mouse. Bear with me for a second. And there he comes here. He kind of got used to this uh, two day routine with the food coming every, every other day. So just watch him how he's gonna strike and grab the mouse. Come on. He missed. This is the first time actually I see him miss. So he bit his bedding here. Now I have to help him out. Get him unhooked. Maybe he can hook himself. Oh, there he goes. He got unhooked him by himself.
and there he is he already got the mouse I just uh, didn't have a chance to film it but uh, that's pretty much it and that's what I've been doing for the past uh, you know 60 days feeding him a mouse every other day with medication so he's gotten much better and he's almost fine now no symptoms at the moment but the doctor said to continue the medication for another week so that's what I'm doing and I hope you enjoyed this video and I take care